Father, we thank Thee for this day. We thank Thee, Lord, that we can come and worship, share with others. We thank You, Father, for what You have given us that we may share with others. We ask, Lord, that You bless those that need Thy help this week, today. We know, Lord, that sometimes we don't understand and we don't know a lot of things. We ask, Lord, you do, and we know you will take care of it. Do you say the prayer? Lord's Prayer. Did you want to? Okay. Our Father, which Lord art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Thank you.
for giving to us, for teaching us, that we'll always remember what you have done for us. You say the Lord's Prayer? Okay. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Are we ready for the scriptures? Offertory. 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 Well, then let us um, use our energy to um, fill up the offertory. <laughs> <laughs> Probably in the process of doing that, we'll kind of get back to normality. Although it's difficult after our holiday season, isn't it? It does. It can be confusing. <laughs>
like to thank Tony for stepping up and helping us out there. Good to good job. This morning we are reading from the 60th chapter of Isaiah, verses 1 through 6. Arise, Jerusalem, and shine like the sun. The glory of the Lord is shining on you. Other nations will be covered by darkness, but on you the light of the Lord will shine. The brightness of his presence will be with you. Nations will be drawn to your light and kings to the dawning of your new day. Look around you and see what is happening. Your people are gathering to come home. Your sons will come from far away. Your daughters will be carried like children. You will see this and be filled with joy. You will tremble with excitement. The wealth of the nations will be brought to you. From across the sea, their riches will come. Great caravans of camels will come from Midian and Ephah. They will come from Sheba, bringing gold and incense. People will tell the good news of what the Lord has done. And from Psalm 72, verses 1 through 7 and 10 through 14. It's a prayer for the king. Teach the king to judge your righteousness, O God. Share with him your own justice so that he will rule over your people with justice and govern the oppressed with righteousness. May the land enjoy prosperity. May it experience righteousness. May the king judge the poor fairly. May he help the needy and defeat their oppressors. May your people worship you as long as the sun shines, as long as the moon gives light for ages to come. May the king be like rain on the fields, like showers falling on the land. May righteousness flourish in his lifetime, and may prosperity last as long as the moon gives light. The kings of Spain and of the islands will offer him gifts. The kings of Sheba and Seba will bring him offerings. All kings will bow down before him. All nations will serve him. He rescues the poor who call to him and those who are needy and neglected. He has pity on the weak and poor. He saves the lives of those in need. He rescues them from oppression and violence. Their lives are precious to him. And from the third chapter of Ephesians, the first 12 verses. For this reason, I, Paul, the prisoner of Christ Jesus for the sake of you Gentiles, pray to God. Surely you have heard that God in his grace has given me this work to do for you. God revealed his secret plan and made it known to me. I have written briefly about this, and if you re will read what I have written, you can learn about my understanding of the secret of Christ. In past times, human beings were not told this secret, but God has revealed it now by the Spirit to his holy apostles and prophets. The secret is that by means of the gospel, the Gentiles have a part with the Jews in God's blessings. They are members of the same body and share in the promise that God made through Christ Jesus. I was made a servant of the gospel by God's special gift, which he gave me through the working of his power. I am less than the least of all God's people. Yet God gave me this privilege of taking to the Gentiles the good news about the infinite riches of Christ and of making all people see how God's secret plan is to be put into effect. God, who is the creator of all things, kept his secret hidden through all the past ages in order that at the present time, by means of the church, the angelic rulers and powers in the heavenly world might learn of his wisdom in all its different forms. God did this according to his eternal purpose which he achieved through Christ Jesus our Lord. In union with Christ and through our faith in him, we have the boldness to go into God's presence with all confidence. Amen. Amen. 